This is my sonic chair, which was um, provisionally entitled, and still is entitled, something for the girl with everything. Because it came no other way from an old girlfriend of mine telling him about the enjoyable experience she would have on a washing machine, on spin cycle. And being a physicist and working in art, um, I realized that I could take that experience and take it to a much more subtle level, but to actually use sound to physically move the body. If I show this by turning this on, at this moment, you can hear or probably feel the beat if you were sitting in it, that subtle thrum. If I adjust one of the oscillators, it will speed up. And then I can adjust the other one to lock with it. Then I can increase the power, which at this moment is very physically vibrating. The base of my back, my legs, and going right up through the body to probably about this point. The science behind it is the science of beat frequencies, which is when the two oscillators, the voltage control oscillators that are in this chair, when they're just off unison, when they're just not in tune with each other, the object will beat. It's very simple science. Um, I, I've, I've worked in electronic music for many years. I've, I've built synthesizers. Um, I've made electronic music. This idea came out from sounds which we would be hearing in studios all the time when we were trying to tune instruments. And I started to realize that the off beats, um, when, the, when the instruments weren't in tune, were just as interesting, in fact, more interesting for this type of object. People generally and genuinely like it. It seems to bring pleasure.